of an opening statement from Coach Collins, and then we'll go into questions. Well, I thought it was a really hard play game by both teams. Obviously, Big Ten games are a little bit extra with that stuff, and um, you know, I thought both teams played incredibly hard. Obviously, Michigan State made the plays they needed to, to win the game in the right times, and I was really proud of our guys. To The game could have gotten away from us, I thought, two or three times, and I thought our guys just kept hunting kept fighting, kind of hung in there. We had little spurts when we needed them to get back in the game. And then I just felt like it was like either a loose ball or a long rebound or, you know, and obviously they had a huge advantage on the glass, which is something they do really well. But, you know, I thought in the second half we executed really well, scoring 45 points you know, against a good defensive team. Um, certainly Bowie was fantastic with his shooting and scoring. And, um, you know, we have to continue to get better. I feel like we've grown a lot in this last month. Ten games in, we, uh, you know, we've we've looked really bad at times. We've looked really good, and, but overall, I feel like we're heading in the right direction. Um, I feel like guys are getting better. I feel like we're gaining confidence, and hopefully, that'll be a sign of good things to come moving forward. Questions? You uh, you talked about the the rebounding difference. They're obviously known for that, but forty to twenty four is. Quite an advantage. I mean, how much did that hurt you guys tonight? Yeah, no, it was huge, and especially 14 offensively. Sometimes the defensive rebounds can be a little bit misleading, but you look at the offensive rebounds, 14 extra possessions. Um, you know, we turned them over 16 times. You know, so that's that's what kept us really in our was our activity. But you know, their ability to get on the offensive glass, and I thought they were like at key times. You know, they, we forced them to miss a couple times when maybe the game was at six or eight, and. It seemed like it was a loose ball in the corner that either went out of bounds or, or Henry or, or Brown snuck in there. Hall got a tip dunk one time. I uh, just thought it was kind of, you know, they got it at the opportune moments. And But certainly when you play Michigan State, that's you talk about transition points and you talk about uh, offensive rebounds. I mean, those are the two things that they've done notoriously for many, many years. And I thought our transition defense got better. It was bet not great early, but I thought it got better as the game. We actually scored more fast break points than they did, uh, which was encouraging. But obviously, their ability to rebound at a high level hurt us. Two questions for you: Do you like Boo coming off the bench? Is there some advantage that way? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I mean, he's young, so I mean, he's he's been dealing with a little bit of a thumb issue. You know, you guys see, he's been a little bit banged up. He's getting better. You know, if that affected his shooting for a while. Um, you know, because it's on his right hand. But, you know, obviously we have high hopes for where he's headed, and tonight was a huge step forward for him. Um, you know, I'm, I'm less concerned kind of about who starts. It's more about who finishes a yeah. close game. And, you know, he was on the floor, you know, when it mattered. So, you know, if, if he starts, I'm great with that if he comes off the bench. But, you know, we kind of have, have kind of gone with that starting group that we started for the first part of this year. And, and I've liked bringing AJ and Boo and Robbie and Jared off the bench. And, um, but those things can always change as, as, as your team evolves. And uh, Nance, how did he deal with the suspension? And I noticed tonight he was pretty feisty at a certain moment with the officials. What did you think of him? Yeah, I mean, the stuff with the officials, he shouldn't do. I mean, that's, if that was the case, I mean, obviously you've got to have poise out there. He's a young player. Um, but I like his fight. You know, I like his energy. Uh, he's getting better. Um, I think sometimes people forget about half of his freshman year was lost last year due to illness. So in a lot of respects, I kind of view him as a freshman too. And, you know, he's a talented guy. You know, he can shoot it. He, he's getting better playing through contact. Obviously, he's gotten stronger. He needs to continue to, to, to get even better playing with physicality because that's what people do. But I like where he's headed. You know, I, I like how he's improving. And, um you know, he's a big part of our future. Everybody knows that. Coach, I know development is the biggest goal of this year. Would you say that you're happy with the way the team is developing and progressing as you head into the... I am. I mean, right now I'm disappointed because as a competitor you want to win. So, I mean, it's not like we're, you know, trying to not win. We're trying to put together... I mean, our game plan was to win the game. But we also know where we are. We have the youngest, one of the youngest teams in college basketball, the youngest in the Big, 12, Big Ten. And, um, you know, so there's going to be a lot of experience things with this group. You know, the, this was their first conference home game, you know, and, and you're talking about even with Pat Spencer, who's a grad transfer, who hasn't played any college basketball. So you're talking about four freshmen, 
Spencer and Cop and Nance, who you know were freshmen last year. So you you got seven guys who are really going through this for the first time. So um, I feel we're getting better. Like I just look at our quality of play, where we were the first week of the season, where we are now. We've been able to get some good wins in this first ten games. Um, you know, probably a lot of prognosticators would have guessed our exact record through 10 games, but it's not probably the games we would have thought we were going to win and lose. So and that kind of happens sometimes in basketball. But um, I like where we're headed. I think we're getting better. Uh, I told the guys that after the game. But there's also dejected guys because you come out here tonight and you, you, you want to win and you prepare to win, and we came up a couple plays short tonight. Is it hard to have to play... Uh, so many, you know, kind of big games in in December. Uh, and have you gotten used to the 20 game schedule? Yeah, it's a, it's definitely tough. You know, I think it's great overall for the league. I think it's a it's a really positive step. You know, I think we saw last year. I think it added it got us extra bids in the tournament, which which was the goal coming into this whole thing was to to have teams have more opportunities for quality wins, and. And also to, to have high-level games throughout the course of the season. So we're getting adjusted to that. You know, when you have a team like mine, am I happy about playing these games in December? No. But, um, you know, in the grand scheme of things for the game and for the conference, I think it's a really good thing because it's, uh, it's, it's, it's put some attention on basketball at a time where, you know, it's, it's usually football until the bowl season's done. And, um, and you get through the national championship. So having those conference games early, I think, has, has given some attention to our league, the challenges with the other, the, the GAVA games, the ACC Big Ten. Um, you know, I think it's given everybody some high-level games early to, to get some national attention, which in the long run I think is good for everybody. What do you expect out of DePaul on Saturday? Is it going to uh, have a lot of... Guys who aren't from the area, do they yeah. know about the rivalry? Yeah, I mean, I you know we've had really competitive games with those guys over my time here. You know, pretty much every game has gone down to the wire, um, as I can remember. Uh, they, my first year, they came in here, won at the buzzer. We won in overtime. You know, and in, in, in all state, you know, we won a really close one in Wintrust last year. We had to come from 15 down. You know, they outplayed us for probably 30 to 32 minutes. So. We've always had really hard-fought competitive games. I think the game comes at a great time right before the holidays. I think it's good for the area. And they're having a terrific year. I'm, I've been really impressed with what they've done. Dave's done a great job. And it's going to be a big test for us. We know we're going to have another high-level game on Saturday night. Coach, uh, in your first year, you guys had a very similar situation. You guys were a game of 500. Your first home uh, Big Ten game was against Wisconsin. It was number four in the country. Don't remind me. It was forty to fourteen at halftime. If you want to know, um, but so you guys obviously couldn't keep pace. But you know, tonight it's a very similar situation. You're a game above five hundred, very young team. Do you feel satisfied? You know, obviously there's no moral victories, but do you have to feel satisfied with the way that you guys fought. I'm f I'm satisfied with how we fought, but I mean, you guys know. I mean, I'm not. I don't like losing, so I mean, I'm not satisfied with that. I mean, the goal is. The goal is to win the game, and uh, somebody's famous said that, I think. But, um, uh, I'm satisfied with how we're fighting. I'm satisfied with our improvement. I'm satisfied with our guys' ability to come every day and work to get better and how we're sticking together, and I'm, I'm seeing a lot of progress. I am satisfied with those things. I think there's a much higher place that we can go, uh, which as a coach, that's that's always the challenge, And but it's not fun. To, to lose, so you know when you when you play a game and you, you're out there in the fight with the guys, you know it's always disappointing when you come up a little short. Coaches have said that uh, the way you've built the program here and um, in the new facilities that everybody should come out and support the team and pack it with purple. And mm -hmm. he also said that you deserve to get kids from Chicago with all the hard work and, and effort that you've put in. Great job you've done. How, what would you say to that? Well, I, I mean it means a lot. He's someone that I've looked up to. Um, you know, for me, I'm a coach's kid, so for, I've always been a historian of basketball. I've always admired, you know, great players, great coaches. And I've said forever, like, when I got to the league, I, I feel like whether they win the league or not, I've always felt they're the standard with how hard you should play, how you prepare, how well coached they are. And so, you know, obviously when someone like that says, says positive things, it, it gives you confidence because it's not easy at times when you're, 
going through it and you're losing at times and you're fighting to, to keep your head above water and try to build something. And we, like I, we're confident where we're headed. You know, I really am. You know, we, we're, I think everybody can see that. You know, this is a really good young core of guys that they need to stick together. Uh, the facilities are in place. It's been an amazing amount. The, what President Shapiro and Dr. Phillips and the trustee, everybody has done to have now a, a world-class training performance center, the arena that we have. Um, everything's in place for us to be successful, and now it's about, you know, developing these guys and getting to that point where, where we can really contend because that's the goal of all of us here. You know, you don't, you don't put those kind of resources in if, if you don't want to win, and that's why I love being here because everyone's in it to win, and we'll get there. You just, uh, we just got to keep at it. One more. Chris, when you came to Northwestern, there was a lot of people that thought, man, Chris, maybe wait for something a little bit different. But Coach Izzo just talked about what your AD's done, what this university has done, and really the, the foundation is set now for Northwestern to become a power in the Big Ten. How special is it? Not a lot of coaches have the absolute entirety of the university behind them. Yeah, it's very special. You know, and that's that was kind of – I didn't know a lot. I mean, obviously, you know – Dr. Phillips and I didn't know each other, you know, President Shapiro and I didn't know each other, but it took me about 20 minutes to listen to those guys talk, to see the fire in their eyes, to, to try to build something. And, you know, in terms of, I mean, for me, I like, I like, I love this situation because I'm a competitor. So when, when someone tells me I can't do something, you know, it makes me want to do it even more. So, you know, the fact that Northwestern hadn't won, hadn't gone to the tournament, hadn't done, you know, I, to me it was a great opportunity to create a lot of firsts and try to build something um, in a different way in, in, my, in a place that I grew up in a city that I love. So, um, you know, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome to be in a situation where everybody's together with the same goal. You know, everybody, everybody wants the same thing. Everybody's fighting for the same thing. And really, to me, that's the only way it can get done. You know, no one coach can do it. No one athletic director. No one administration. Everybody has to has to be together to get it done, and and that's what we're going to do. Thanks, guys. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you.